Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode. Today we're talking about Crabada. Over a month ago in a Hot Projects video, I did a, a feature on this and talked about how, it, how important it was to get on their priority whitelist. And if you got in on this, then you just made a whole lot of money just like I did because this token has since 50x, something like that, 50x from where it originally started. Um, I didn't 50x on it. So basically here's the story. Uh, they gave you a 1080 allocation and I bought 1040 worth and then it became available on Trader Joe and then your uh, tokens were made available to be able to claim them um, before the, the breeding event, which we'll talk about in a minute. And so I, I went, went to Crabida, went to Max, put it in and the AVAX amount was like 200 and I was pretty sure that I only put 12 AVAX like I don't have in my head how much AVAX is worth because I don't I'm not very familiar with the Avalanche network I haven't done much on it um but I was like I put in about 12 to actually purchase a thousand so it must be way more than that so I sold it thinking that I was very soon and I, I thought, you know, maybe other people hadn't got, got to it. And I sold it and it continued to go down. So I was happy that I sold it. Um, it went to about uh, about 130 AVAX for the amount, the initial amount that you got. That was 57,777. If you hold on, held on to it, if I'd held on to it, I'd have had 541 AVAX. In US dollars, just to put that into it, that's fifty thousand dollars. That's that's fifty. That's that's a fifty x, basically. Um, wow, insane! They gave everything on token generation event. It's so rarely that people give away hundred percent on token generation event. I didn't even because I did this a month ago. I had I hadn't even you know thought about what was the vesting period. So fifty thousand dollars is available to you if you held on to yours and held your nerve. I didn't because I thought, okay, well, people will just sell off it so much in token generation event, right? Um, but people bought back and people bought back because this game has progressed quicker than any game in the past two days because they had a roadmap that wasn't just gradual release. They patiently bided their time. They created the designs. They created the game. They created the marketplace. They created the token and everything ready for the sale launch. They created the breeding event. And everything went perfectly. Like, this never happens in the crypto space, right? In crypto gaming, everything fails first time. The servers become overloaded. There's problems with the distribution of NFTs. The breeding mechanic doesn't work. The marketplace has faulty values. Nothing failed. As far as I'm aware, this token, this th this launch was perfect. And we have the final part of it coming out tomorrow at 4 a.m. UTC. The game will launch its, its open beta, the idle game phase. So it will be an idle game to begin with, although it's built to be a PvP battler uh, as well. It will have an, an idle miner, which will have a battling element. There will be some strategy to it, any mild. Um, but we'll talk about that because this is just, I'm so, so impressed, so impressed by the team and the work that they put into us to, to make this work. Because honestly, it is such a rarity that you see this in the, the crypto space. But um, where do we go from here? If you, if you weren't in it, uh, how can you get involved? So this game is going to, it's not going to be free to play. There is going to be an entry price. You To purchase a Crabadon now on the marketplace, you can pick up a uh, an egg for around 2,267 at the floor price. And, uh, but don't let that scare you away because there's a renting lending feature I'll talk about in a minute. Um, if you want to pick up a, a Crabada straight off, one of the origin ones, then it's going to cost you 2,683. There is going to be a lending feature, which we'll look at in a minute in the open beta preview. But if you are thinking about purchasing a Crabada, then you're going to have to think of a couple of things just to know that make sure that you get a good deal out of it and don't pick something that's not that good. So Genesis 
Crabida are going at a floor price of 146,000. There were only 10 of these in the whole 500 and something eggs um, that hatched. So these are really, really rare. And these are basically complete sets of all the same body parts or crawberry. Um, and there are eight classes. Now, within each of those class, they will have different parts. So if you go to Prime, you'll see this. This one has all the same Prime parts because this is a pure, um, a pure crab. So basically, when people got the allocation, you also got 57,777 breeding coins as well, or probably more. Actually, if I'd have bought my whole allocation, I probably would have had 60,000. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I just why did I not put transfer that extra bit? Uh, but it meant that I could have bought an extra one. That's that's actually cost me two thousand five hundred dollars. Damn it! Um, <laughs> but anyway, I bought a a Genesis, a pure slash Genesis crab, and one mixed breed crab. My mixed breed crab is really really good. Um, but yeah, the pure ones are basically all of prime types, and they will have different. They can have different different areas where they come from so these are you know this this one's pure pure cardano because it is a a genesis one yeah so it's all cardano whereas if we take a look at uh this one in a minute which is also prime non-genesis origin we'll see that this one let's go to expensive this one has two prime parts uh, but they're different, near link. So if we look at my ones, these are the ones that I got, by the way. And my infantry, came to your infantry, absolutely fine, no problems there. I got, so my pure one is this guy, who looks pretty cool. He got three, I mean, all six parts, obviously, uh, as a pure breed, has all six parts, prime class. And uh, three of them are near, one Bitcoin, one Binance, and one Phantom. Now, this guy is so strong, 71 attack and 52 critical. He is one of the strongest, I think he is the strongest out there that you can possibly get. The, the max attack that I've seen in the whole of the marketplace is 71. So I figure he'll be worth something down the line. And you know, I could sell this guy for about 10,000, I think on the marketplace at the moment, maybe a bit more, maybe 13,000 I think it is actually. Um, but yeah, I'm holding on to him. Uh, and so I've, I've bred him with you can breed your crabada together it does cost a lot i didn't realize you'd need to us tokens and this massively increased by the time the marketplace came and so it's 8500 tus to breed a crabada together and that's that set me back like an extra it was like 1500 tokens 1500 dollars to us so it cost a lot but when i hatch the egg i probably it's probably going to be worth more in the long run so, and also because I got to breed with this guy who is not, this was just a random, pure random breed. He ended up getting five prime parts. He's prime and with five prime parts, only one P Vecrano. Um, just because he's random Vecrano. Oh, it's this one, I think. Um, and he's got three Avalanche and two Cardano. So he's looking really, really good and so I've bred them together so the chances are that it's going to be prime is 100% because the two I've bred the two prime classes they each have dominant and recessive uh, recessive one recessive two I think it is we'll look at in a minute and breeding um they have like yeah dominant recessive and minor recessive so 33% chance of getting the dominant allele um from one type and then same from the other and then recessive one is 11. 11.11 uh, minor recessive r2 5.56 percent yeah so 100 percent chance for it to be a prime so but as you can see the breeding cost increases heavily after that tus just goes up and up doubles and then it comes a bit more triples and then yeah it's expensive basically so i don't think this is past two nobody's i've not I've seen one that has breed three on it um uh, we will earn TUS in the game, so I'm thinking of maybe getting my second one then rather than hatching, breeding another egg. Um, so yeah, these, these are my guys that I can use in battle, and I, I might buy another one. I'm tempted to buy another one in a bit 
just so that I'll have three because you will need three to be able to enter into, um, well, not you don't need them to enter into the uh, mining, but it helps that you can have a team of three max. So they've put out a really nice little stream of, of Twitter, of tweets that explain what the game features will have tomorrow on launch. So there will be mining expeditions, loot missions, which we'll talk about what they are in a minute, lending and hiring tavern, breeding Crabida, Crabida Marketplace, dates and schedule, and official links. So the mining expedition, this is where players form a team of three Crabida. Once deployed to a vacant mine, the hardworking Crabida will begin mining treasure. Mining expeditions take four hours and return a reward of 3.75 Crabida and, three, and 301 TUS. So four hours, so within a day you can do uh, six of those potentially. So six times, you know, 18 Crabida and then 18 times 300. The 18 times 300, this is where, this won't be the max bow in a minute, but if you were able to get perfect and won every single one, 303 TUS times by six would be 1,800, which if we go to Trader Joe, um, TUS, we see that 1,800 is worth Ta-da, $365. So potentially we could be mining a lot of money tomorrow. Now TUS could fluctuate uh, and there will probably be sell-offs maybe in those early days because of how much you get for them. But this game's gonna have a lot of value in it in these first few hours, I think, for sure. Um, so yeah, you will have to beware of looters though because you will get attacked by the enemy and you'll have to defend against them. So you see um, speed, damage, armor, HP, critical is up there. Now, the mining expeditions reward examples are as follows. With unsuccessful defended against looters, you will only gain 33% of the maximum amount that you were gonna get roughly. Um, so just over 33% really. Uh, so you're gonna, if you defend successfully, you're gonna be able to get a lot more. And there will be the opportunity to bring in reinforcements as well. So they're the mining expedition. So looting missions are something you can take where players form a team of three Krabida and they can deploy their Krabida to steal from an occupied mine. These missions take from one to 2.5 hours and a successful looting mission would result in stealing 65% of the rewards. So you can see that way you are, you're not actually idly mining for four hours. You are trying to steal the rewards of other people. So it is that 3.75 is up for grabs, but it's whether you take them all or somebody else takes them all. I'll take six takes sixty five percent off you. If you have a strong team, then it could be better to to actually just do your looting missions. Looting mission rewards are, for example, successful there two point seven three seven five and a tiny tiny bit if you get an unsuccess, unsuccessful mission. Now there's reinforcements and uh, other mechanics at play. So when a mining party is attacked. Both mining and looty parties will have the opportunity to add two additional Krabida to join the battle, with five Krabida per team being the max. The winner is determined by the highest total battle points of each party. So that will determine who wins. And another interesting point with this is that, you know, you might not have five Krabida because obviously that's gonna be very expensive at the moment, uh, but you can rent so this is where the lending and hiring tavern could come into play where players that don't have enough available Krabida for reinforcement can visit the tra tavern to hire mercenaries. Players that have idle Krabida can deploy them to the tavern. These Krabida will be added to the pool of available Krabida for hire. Breeding Krabida. The Krabida are descendants of the powerful warriors, each with unique strengths and abilities which are inherited through breeding. Players are required to have two Krabida and a sufficient amount of crap as we've seen. And then the marketplace as we've just seen. Dates and schedules, everything was listed there. So this came on there. They, they let everybody know this, everything that was going to be going ahead in, in good advance notice. Right, so tomorrow it will be the day where the beta launches. They have a special incentive for, for users. So people who complete more actions, they're going to be giving away AVAX, which is pretty cool. Um, they'll just for, for doing all the 
actions there as we just spoke about. I believe then you will have the decision to to decide whether to be attacker or, a, or or go on mining expeditions. I don't think you can do both at the same time because once they're committed, they'll be committed to doing it. Um, so mining expeditions will have a no cooldown period. Crabbida can start on the next mining expedition without resting. Whereas looting missions, there will be a one hour cooldown starting from the time that previous looting missions started. Activity frequency. So if you maximize looting missions, you can get 25 maximum amount of times per day. Mining expeditions is six. Minimum amount of times eight and minimum amount six also for mining expeditions. Looting missions require more active involvement from the player than mining expeditions, but take a shorter time to complete as compared to the fixed duration of mining expeditions. Due to the possibility of reinforcements of battle, looting missions have a variable duration ranging from one to three hours to completion. Active players with a strong crabbed team could potentially benefit more from participating in looting missions instead of mining expeditions. Based on the scenario where a player primarily does looting missions and is able to complete looting missions without facing reinforcements from the players that are mining, they are able to complete up to 24 looting missions in one day. So that could be pretty big. Now the different crabbity that you get with the different parts will have different modifiers, different traits, attributes to them. And one of the things that I have heard in Twitter is that the Prime class is quite highly sought after because you get a 10% bonus to earnings and in mining but also if you have five out of six for the same parts it goes up to 20 percent now this is just a rumor i have heard in the the discord but it's a strange rumor to make up um but i've got two then that are both prime and they all both have five parts so it'd be really interesting to see how that plays out because that'd be nice getting an extra 20 percent in earnings um yeah, starting from tomorrow at 4 a.m. is when we can start kicking things off. It's 4 a.m. in my time, which is kind of annoying, but I might wake up a, li a little bit early to, to, to start recording. And now the lending feature is a really interesting one, and I think it's best shown in the, the demo. So this is the idle game demo. So this is what the screen will look like. You'll have your mining expedition, looting mission, and build your team. So the dashboard will have an inventory where you can take a look at a Krabbida that you own. This person has 21 Krabbida, but it's just a mock-up. Jesus, if you've got a team of 21 Krabbida to choose from, you get a good team um, and a lot of money. So um, you can also explore through the different types to see what you want. Uh, it will come up with the... the um, So the best way to show this is through the idle game open beta first look, which shows us what the dashboard will look like. It will display your wallet balance, your mining expedition, looting mission, and building your team. Once you connect it to wallet, it will open up your dashboard, inventory, explore, manage teams, tavern, notification settings, game guide, and music. You can see the battle points and mine value of your Krabida, which will have different points clearly. Um, so this is going to be important in this feature. So you want ones with a high battle. So the 211 is going to be really good. 212 there. 219. These are going to be really the bet ones to take in on, on your mining expeditions or looting. Now, um, it's possible to transfer your Krabida if you want to transfer them to anybody. You can manage your team in the Manage team section. And uh, so you can see battle points are calculated as follows and mine points critical speed some of critical speed and speed so those with high health high attack and high armor are going to have a higher battle points so that's where my pure um Rabida looks pretty good my other one that has five parts the same doesn't have anywhere near as good attack but oh well so you then complete your team and add them into your squad. Once you've picked all three, you would have your complete team ready to go. And it'll total up your battle points. 620, 610 we can see here is their total combined. Then we can go to explore and you can start a mining expedition. 
So select a team. And once it's processed, it'll go through. And you can see your mine 117 versus mine is. You'll be able to check out. You can see the rewards are 4.125 Krabada, 334 US there. But there are these phases which you can see. So an hour and 29 left that will be attacking reinforcements, attack two, reinforcements, attack three, and then the end. So I think because they're getting attacked, if you is it you have to get make your way, yeah, yeah, it looks like you have to make your way all the way to the end. So reinforcements are gonna be important to have in this game if you want to get those basically three times as much rewards. Um, you can then see history in that section. So then the, the bit I want to look at here was the tavern, which is what it will look like in terms of lending and uh, renting out. So we determine how much we want them to be rented for. This is not like controlled by an oracle or anything like that. We can say, okay, we want to rent this guy out for one TUS for the next 24 hours. If anybody rents it for that, get it. Um, because I think they're probably going to go in line with you know, probably 50% of what you can earn in a day, maybe. Um, I'd be tempted to rent mine out. Uh, it'd be interesting if you if you get a thousand TUS. Let's let's work it out. So if you actually look at the rewards that you get from um, your daily active missions. Daily projected earnings. Here we go. So this is really good. They just they've got a beautiful white paper as well. Mining expeditions. So for moderate gameplay, three mines a day. You if you win 50% against looters, you got 700 uh, 7.59 Krabada, uh, 615 TUS. If you win all of them, you'll get 9,900 TUS. And if you maximize six mines in the day, you're gonna get 15 Krabada and 1,230 if you only win 50%. 100% will get you 1,800 TUS. So that's where you're looking at those big, big earnings. And this is where you gotta think, do I, tend, do I want to mine or do I want to loot? Because looting will bring you in more rewards in the long run if you are successful in your attacks. Because 100% mission success rate will bring you 2,600 TUS roughly um, via moderate play, so that's 12 loots a day, whereas maximum play will bring you 3,547 TUS. So if you've got a killer squad and you're going against people who don't have reinforcements, then this is your, you're gonna bring in serious amount of money. And 50% though, even if you only get 50%, you're still gonna earn the same amount that you would win, it would take you to get 100% in six mines a day. So you got a way up. Now the hard limit apparently would be 24 loots a day. But as I mentioned, I think with the cooldown, you probably need more than three Krabada. Uh, you'd need like six, I think. And you're gonna need those with a high battle score, aren't you? Because if you are gonna get a win, you're gonna want the best battle points going in there. Uh, Cause this is how it's gonna be matched up. So me with my 125, 71, 25, 29, 52 uh, pure, I'm looking pretty good. But then my other guy isn't as good. If we look at the marketplace and see how they, uh, how he compares to some of the other Krabada, go lowest price and an adult. We can see this guy's got 51, 128. Mine's got 58, 119, 26, 25, 36. And I've got 50 on the critical. Uh, so thankfully I've got a high attack there. Um, but health is gonna be really important. If you've got 129, if we're saying it's, it's combining all those, um, Three areas. Where is yep? Yeah, total health, total defense, total attack of team. Defense, health, attack. Then defense, health, and attack. Oh, it's the, it is those first three. 
that get added up. So you want those three to be strong, high, if you're going to pick up one off the marketplace. So I'm probably going to go look for one that is, you know, primarily high in those areas because I think there's one with 128, 129, 53 and 20, 53 and 27. So that's actually a really good one for $2,600. 128, 53, 26, that's not as good. It's 129, and 129, oh, 131. 131, two more, 50, three less. Yeah, it's the same, so that's the same. 130, how do these compare to my good one then? So 129 plus 53 equals 182. Uh, 182, 202, 209. So 209 on theirs, whereas my pure is 150. 209 versus 121. Yeah, this guy's much better. Um, but 209 is way better than my 119. This is why I shouldn't use a calculator. And I should just trust my head. It's quicker. Because I always make mistakes. 24, 209. Mm, compared to my 201 okay well I, I think i'm going to pick one up for for this and i'm going to have it like a day of looting and i'll be able to show you it uh in tomorrow's video because we've got hot projects so i'll feature this in hot projects tomorrow as well i'll let you know how i get on on my first day of looting and how much money i earn at the day in a day but bear in mind if i manage to maximize my day now this would require me being awake 24 hours so <laughs> I'm not going to maximize my day, but if I possibly did maximize my day and I, you know, got 100% mission success rate, that's 3,500 TUS, which going over to here, 3,500 TUS is $715 a day. And even if I get half of that, 50% of them successful, still $368 a day. That's still a lot of money. So it will be interesting to see how how we got on with this. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you up to date with this as soon as it comes out tomorrow uh, in tomorrow's Hot Projects. But that's all for this one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Just wanted to give an introduction to a great launch. I'm, I'm so impressed by the fact that this was seamless. Like, you know, how many times have there been launches and they've just been pushed back? because the marketplace isn't working or something. Everything just was like, bosh, 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 worked smooth, didn't need anything to be pushed back, no bugs. Uh, yeah, brilliant. Okay, that's all for this one. If you have enjoyed it, please leave a like on the video, hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content. That's all from me. See you guys soon.